Hi everybody, my name is Sean and welcome to Mini Motivations, a series for teenagers, young adults and anyone who wants to give their brains a stretch. Remember to subscribe and turn notifications on so YouTube can keep you up to date with our latest videos. Let's dive into this week. I wonder if you know what the top three UK sportswear brands are. Have a think. A few moments later. Okay, so they are Adidas, Nike and Puma. I was given a Nike hoodie when I was a teenager, but that was at a time when all the chavs and roadmen used to wear them. And let's just say I was pretty high up the geek slash rocker scale. These days, I'm brave enough to wear it again. Instant upgrade although way too hot today to be wearing a hoodie, so let's get rid of that. Now, Nike have this well-known slogan, just do it, which is lovely and catchy, but it doesn't really reflect the reality of life. Nothing annoys me more than when people say, get on with it, don't worry about it, you'll be fine, when they don't know your current situation. It's been great to see people out and about having some socially distant meetings recently, and I guess you may feel pressured to do the same, even if you don't want to. For the estimated one in eight children and young people in the UK with a diagnosed mental health difficulty, that's 1.25 million people, we might feel really restricted by what we can do. We might lack energy and enthusiasm with our lives, frustrated that our friends don't get how we're feeling. It's so important to look after ourselves right now, as well as to be on the lookout for other people. You could argue that Jesus, the central figure in the Christian faith, had the original lockdown experience, spending three days dead in a cave. What's interesting is after this, when he'd set a time and place for a reunion with his mates, a couple of them held back. They weren't sure about giving their all to this situation. That's what I know lots of you feel, or you might know someone who feels this way, when having to see other people. Fears about being judged, that people have changed, that you've changed, that you won't have the words to say, that it'll be awkward. Dealing with anyone after circumstances have changed, such as being in lockdown for months, is a risk. As I celebrated my fake birthday at a festival last summer with our youth group, yes, I still don't understand it either, there was a sign on the edge of our marquee with the phrase, take the risk or lose the chance. 50p from Poundlander, that gives you an idea of the quality. It was a great way to stir things up and encourage people as we dealt with crazy challenges and varying levels of quality banter. But I've got mixed feelings about how it applies to our own lives. I think it's obvious that we should try to avoid taking risks with our own health and well-being. Especially at this time, avoiding drugs, reducing alcohol and smoking, blocking toxic social media accounts, practicing self-care and healthy coping mechanisms, not taking risks when it comes to sex and relationships. All of these will be a benefit to ourselves. But when it comes to other people, perhaps we should take a risk and try things that we think might make a difference. Risk feeling let down if someone leaves your kind message on red. Risk feeling embarrassed if you drop a gift off to someone and they don't answer the door. You never know the full story of someone's life, no matter how close you are. Take that risk, knowing that it'll probably make someone's day. But remember, today only happens once, so don't lose the chance. This is a true story in the Bible, often known as the Great Commission and is found in Matthew 28 verses 16 to 20. It's in this moment where people are reluctant about risking themselves totally for God that Jesus gives them the challenge to go out and tell others about him. He takes you, right now, who might be totally unsure about faith, not connecting with church, hating Zoom youth meetings. Jesus sees your situation and says that you, are more than good enough to train everyone you meet in the Christian way of life. 
And because he knows that you'll never feel ready enough, he promises to be with you always right up until the end. So why not take the risk this week and gently introduce yourself or somebody else to God? Thanks for watching. Leave a comment to let us know what you thought and give a thumbs up if you've liked this video. Why not share it with your friends as well? Check out the previous episode and some of our other videos. And remember to keep yourself fully charged. Ciao.